It is Penguin Awareness Day, and one group is on expedition right now to make the world aware of the climate crisis and its impact on these animals. Joining us now is the Greenpeace Expedition lead, Louisa Casson. She is in Antarctica. It is a pleasure to meet you. Hello from the uh, Weddell Sea, just on the eastern side of the Antarctic Peninsula. You're probably hearing it's pretty windy here, but lovely to be talking to you. So what we're seeing now is really important because you are counting and looking to see how, environment, how the environment is affecting these populations of penguins. And what have you found so far? Over the past week, with a team of scientists from Stony Brook, Stony Brook University, we have found new colonies of penguins where we didn't expect to find them. We've also been uh, carrying out the first ever hand counts of remote islands that scientists have only been able to look at through satellite before. And what we found is gentoo penguins, who are the ones with the lovely red and orange beak, have been starting to breed ever more further south. So we found a colony of 75 gentoo chicks at the southernmost point they've ever been recorded on the eastern Antarctic Peninsula. This is important because this species used to only be able to uh, breed more further, further north, really. This area was normally far too icy for them to successfully raise chicks. And so this is a clear indication that the climate crisis is continuing to affect this region and really underlines the need for urgent protection for these new penguin habitats and the Antarctic Ocean at large. Other than the penguins, what else have you been observing on your expedition that is cause for concern? So what we're seeing when we're in the Antarctic is this is a place that is incredibly beautiful and it could be thriving with life. You know, we have been so lucky to see uh, incredible humpback whales, leopard seals, Weddell seal, and yet we know that this is an incredibly fragile re uh, region. The last time Greenpeace came to the Antarctic when we surveyed uh, penguin colonies on Elephant Island, we found that those chinstrap penguins had declined by about 77% over the last 50 years. So we can see that, you know, some parts of this, re this region are, are dramatically changing incredibly fast for the worse. Uh, and now we're in this, this incredibly remote part of the Antarctic to see how the wildlife here is holding up. From this region that we're in right now, the Weddell Sea, governments have been discussing a proposal to create a marine protected area here for years, and yet every single year they keep failing. Uh, they have no problem with allowing industrial fishing to be happening around the Antarctic Peninsula, but when it comes to creating protected areas, they are moving at a glacial pace. That needs to change. This needs to be the year where they finally create Antarctic Ocean sanctuaries and indeed a new global ocean treaty that can create a network of ocean sanctuaries all across our global oceans. Wildlife here is simply facing too many threats and governments need to act. Louisa Casson joining us from Antarctica. A pleasure to see you. Good luck on your expedition. Thanks for the beautiful photographs and the disturbing and alarming information.